Hello there, third graders. It's lesson 7.4 today. Uh, in lesson 7.4, we'll be doing some comparing of fractions, but we got a lot to talk about before we get to that. Look at these rectangles. They are the same, right? A word for that is congruent. They are exactly the same. We could say that this each one is one whole, right? This is a whole rectangle. This is a whole rectangle. So is this, and so is this. We can divide these holes into parts, can't we? So I can take a line right here. And now I have divided it into two parts. So let's go back, let's think about what's the fraction for this part right here? One half, right? And one half over here. One half and one half. When we put one half and one half together, you get the whole thing. You know that, right? When you eat, when you have half a pizza and then you add another half a pizza, that's the whole thing. Okay, we can do it with fourths as well, right? We could take um, this, and I know that if I cut this in half, now I have halves, right? But now I'm going to cut each one of these pieces. and fourths, and I've tried my best to do equal pieces. What do you remember about equal pieces? Do I have to have equal pieces? I sure do, right? If I have weird looking pieces, like here, let me move one of these. If I have this, this is not fractions, right? Because these are not equal pieces, right? You can't, you can't use that right, in that way and call them all the same thing, right? This is, in this one, this is not one fourth because it's one out of four, because this one's smaller and this one's bigger. So let's put it back how it was. Oh, that's better. Here we have, and I already mentioned it, one fourth. Here's another one, and another one, and another one. Now, I am going to do eighths. You ready? So I'm going to take each one of these pieces, and I am going to split them in half. So let's get this first. Oh, I could have. I wonder if I could have cloned that one on top here. Probably not quite with all that writing on it. All right, so now I have one fourth, and I know that if I divide, right? That you know what four? Uh, if I take four and I cut these in ha in uh, half, I'm going to have double the pieces, right? Four times two will be eight. And I think these pieces are a little bit too big, but. I'm trying to do it as best I can. Okay, so what is the fraction for each one of these little pieces? That's one eighth, right? One out of eight. I'm not going to write them all down, but each one of them is one out of eight. So if we have all eight of them, we have the whole thing. Okay, we could have two halves and have an entire pizza. We have four fourths equals an entire pizza, right? Look at these, two halves. This is four fourths. This is eight eighths. You see a pattern here, right? This is the top number on the top and the bottom is the same. That's the whole thing. We could even divide it a different way. Instead of, you know, I could cut these all into sixteenths or I could do, how about thirds? I'm going to take my one whole and I'm going to divide it into three equal pieces. There they are. All right. So what we're seeing here, these are called fraction strips. And our goal here is to be able to partition these fraction strips, right? Which is kind of what we're doing here on the video. But then we're going to be able to use them and use them to name fractions and to compare fractions. Let me show you more about that. Here's a pretty version, right? Look at that. Look at all the different ways. And we could keep going, right? There's all sorts of different ways that we could divide up this one hole. See the one hole on the top? What else? Aha, here's fifths. I didn't do fifths. I didn't do twelfths either. All right, and each time, what do you notice about the pieces? As the number on the bottom, as the denominator gets bigger, what happens to all the pieces? Yeah, they get smaller. Isn't that weird, right? Because usually, usually when we're looking at numbers, 12 is bigger than 2, right? We always say that, but one twelfth is way smaller than one half. 
So with fractions, you have to look and see what is being represented um, using these fraction strips. All right, uh, let's see. Does this fraction strip show one third? All right, one, two, three. If I said yes, this fraction ship strip shows one third because here's one and there are one, two, three. Why would I be wrong? I would be wrong because these are not equal pieces. Okay. If I wanted to have equal pieces, then I can take that strip just like I did on the previous screen and split it into three equal parts. Here comes the other one. Let's see how close I got it. Oh, I did pretty well. Three equal parts. Okay, so fractions have equal parts. If we just had thirds, how can we make six? Well, you know what we would do, right? We could split each one of these, and then it would look like this. All right. There you go. There's all of our fraction strips. Now, let me ask you some questions here about that. Let's switch to a little highlighter here. I'm going to start shading in some of these because we know that the second part of our goal here is to be able to use these to compare. Let's say I shaded in uh, this and this. Let's ask two questions here. The first one is how much, actually I'm gonna ask three questions. This first one, let's let's cover up this, these, the rest of these. How much did I shade in here? I shaded in one half and how much, how many of these fourths did I shade in? I shaded in three of them, right? To write these fractions, I would write this is, how, oh, I don't want to do the highlighter anymore. Let's switch back to the regular pen. This is showing one half, and this is showing three fourths, right? Three out of four pieces are filled in. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Now, if I'm asked which one is bigger, well, all I do is look and see which one has more shaded in. Three fourths has more shaded in, so three fourths is bigger. All right, let's do another one with some different colorings here. Let's color in a pretty highlighter that is blue. All right, get ready here. I'm going to shade in this. And this. All right. First of all, in my first one here, on the top here, how many of these fourths did I shade in? Two fourths, right? So this represents two fourths. If I'm, this time I'm going to write it down here at the bottom of the screen. Okay, two fourths. And here, what did I shade here? Three eighths, three eighths. Now, I want you to imagine that you were looking at this without seeing the pictures, right? This is why the pictures are important. Two fourths and three eighths. If you had to look at that, if you just looked at those numbers, well, look, this one looks bigger, doesn't it? Three is bigger than two and eight's bigger than four. But look at the pictures. This is why we represent these fractions. Which one has more blue, top or bottom? The top one does. Two fourths is greater than, remember greater than? Make the mouth eat the, the one that's more. Okay, two fourths is greater than three eighths. So again, you would do it like this, right? You can make the mouth. There you go, now he's Pac-Man mouth. Give him some teeth here. No, I don't need all that. Although if it helps you to remember, that's fine, right? The mouth eats the one that's more. And in fractions, the one that's more is the one that has more of the shape shaded. All right. So what I want you to do is to, oh, let's review these terms. We were just talking about them. Uh, we have greater than and less than and equal to. So sometimes we'll have, remember when we did uh, just regular numbers, right? Nine or five, which is more nine. 
So we draw that way, which is more 10 or 20. Well, 20 is more, so we draw it that way. Which is more, 12 or 12? Well, that's equal, so we put the equal sign there. Now, you're not going to have whole numbers here, and that is why I want to do one of these here together. So open up to Math Journal 227, please. All right, here we go, 227. Um, let's see, we're going to come down and do number, hmm. ooh, how about number three? One third versus two versus one sixth. And so these are here so that we can draw on them. So I need to make the first one in as one third. So I'm going to divide this into three equal pieces like this. And then this number says one, so I am going to shade one of them. It's a beautiful shading job, Mr. White. The other one is one sixth, one sixth. So I'm going to, I, I know if I take these three pieces and then split them all in half, well, that one didn't turn out right. Split them in half. Ooh, I know what I can do. Let's see, I'm gonna make some copies of that. There we go. Boop. Split them in half. Put that one there. It'll be easier when you're drawing it that when you're actually getting to draw it a little harder here on the screen. So now I have six pieces. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to shade how many of them? Shade one of them because it says one sixth right there. All right, now I'm gonna give it, let you decide which is bigger. If you think one third is more, you're gonna draw the mouth like that. If you think one sixth is more, you're going to draw the mouth like that. I'm not gonna tell you. Hey, you have to be the one that thinks which of those is more. This is what we're doing today, third graders, right? We are, um, partitioning, that means splitting into parts, or splitting these into parts and then using them to figure out which fraction is more, okay? Or comparing them. If you have any questions about that, reach out and let me know. And good luck.